know, Meghna, what, what Chrisan has said and what a couple of other people have also said is that it's not, it's not just us saying this, it's, it's Sushant's family. And, you know, while you can attribute motives to, uh, you know, friends and uh, acquaintances and former girlfriends, etc., uh, you know, perhaps you can't attribute the same motives to family is what Chrisan is saying. Is there some weight to that in your view, Meghna? But, uh, Shiv, my, my only point is there could be many reasons for Sushant's withdrawal from his family. Uh, it could be financial. It could be that he was uh, undergoing a phase. We've all done it. We've phased out certain people in our life, even if we love them, because we are undergoing something. If if it's true that he ha he was suffering from bipolar disorder, if he had mental health issues, hmm. he might have withdrawn from everybody. And it happens when we are undergoing depression. We also withdraw. It's not personal. He was so, not. Different. But my whole point is, why is she being blamed for his depression or his his actions? He is an adult. He was an adult man, capable of what taking making his own decisions. I come to you, Krishan. You can answer that. Let, let me not finish. She was a woman in his life. I don't understand the logic. What does she have to do with all of this? What why, is she, why is she being blamed? Why is she the reason for his death? It makes no sense. Okay, okay. You know, you know perhaps perhaps the, the, the media spotlight has amplified that even more, but the allegations are yes. not coming from the media, they're coming from persons. You want to answer that, uh, Chrisan? That the, the, it, it, so, it seems like the narrative appears to be, and even some of the things that you have said according to Meghna, make it seem like that Riya Chakravarti is being blamed for Sushant's state of mind and the problems that may have led him to his death. Okay, so everyone who stayed with Sushant, everyone who knew Sushant, every single person is claiming, including me, that Sushant was not the type of person to have a, de like a depression order. Definitely he was not bipolar. He was absolutely okay. He was a happy soul. He was a happy person. He inspired people to do better. He inspired his friends to do better. You know, he was not the type of person who would give up. He was a go-getter. He started from scratch. Even if he had lost anything, he would he would go back and he would start again. You know, so the problem is that there's no allegations that, at least from my end, are, that are going directly to Ria. I'm just saying that it all is very overwhelming. But it is pointed at Ria, Chris, and uh, would you would it, you would you acknowledge that what you're saying still is pointed at Ria, though? I stick with the family. Okay, you're saying you stick with the family. Meghna, I want to come to the issue of misogyny that you pointed out. That's also a complicated issue because, you know, there are some persons who say it's not misogyny. Like, for example, uh, uh, Sushant's brother-in-law says it's not a question of misogyny when there are serious allegations. And if the person happens to be the subject of scrutiny by an investigation, then why bring sexism and misogyny into it? She happens to be a woman, so there's nothing misogynistic about it is what the brother-in-law of Sushant claims. What would you say to something like that? The reason I'm asking is because of this spotlight on, uh, on uh, Riya Chakrabarti. Meghna. You know, Shiv, uh, unfortunately, the society that we live in, particularly in India, a woman is blamed for everything that happens to her and to anybody around her, including the fact that a young girl is taught from the age of eight that if a man molests you, it is your fault. This is the narrative that unfortunately everybody in our country has grown up on. This is where the inherent misogyny has come out that if a, an adult man, a famous rich adult man commits suicide, somehow his girlfriend has to be blamed for it. My entire point is why are people pointing out what she's wearing? Why are they calling her gold digger? She had her own career going on. It may not have been as successful as, say, a Bollywood actor, but it was successful. She had been working for the last uh, 15 or so years. She had made, char charted out her own course. Uh, why would she be a gold digger? She, I'm sure she has enough of her own money. But it's so easy to, to go back into these stereotypes that a woman is always, you know, after a man's money or she's she's... She's giving him pills. I mean, why would she do that? She's going to a psychiatrist with a man. She, the psychiatrist has prescribed him pills. Hmm. But somehow it's Ria's fault that he's taking the pills. And let me just quickly point out, I think the underlying issue here that no one is really, really highlighting as much as it deserves to be is that people don't understand mental health issues in our country. Okay, I'm so going to come to that. That's going to be my last question, Meghna. Let me just take the misogyny question first. Suicide, Before I come to the mental suicide, health issue, don't know what is going on I'll come to the mental health issue in a moment. That will be my last question. But, but uh, you know, 
uh, Chrisan, you're, you know, you're a young professional in the industry as well. Uh, you know, you're aware of what misogyny is all about. Do you think there is a measure? Would you agree that there is a measure of sexism or misogyny even when it comes to Rhea Chakravarti? And you've said some things about her as well. So I'm asking, would you at least accept that there is a level of misogyny or sexism or not at all? I feel like women are way more empowered and it's a time of Kali Yuga and women are way more empowered than men are right now. I mean, there were even those uh, allegations on all those boys on Instagram recently where, uh, I don't remember what it was called, where in fact in the end they found out that it was not the guy's fault. There were two cases like that that recently happened. So I don't think we are in an age where women are really subdued or all of that. Not right now because women are giving an opportunity to speak to 